Extreme objects in the universe take many shapes and forms. Neutron stars and black holes are among the most extreme objects in the universe. They are the remnants of dead stars where even gravity and time are manipulated. But what is the borderline between a neutron star and a black hole? Does there exist an object that resides on the edge of becoming a black hole? Towards the end of a star's life, its fate depends on its mass. Stars with eight times the mass of our sun form neutron stars, a type of degenerate matter that is composed of free nuclei, with electrons free to move all around it. Unlike white dwarfs which are made of atomic elements, neutron stars are largely made up of free nuclei, with only some ions existing on a thin crust layer. The reason a neutron star has free nuclei instead of elements is because the gravitational pressure within a neutron star is so great it overcomes electron degeneracy pressure. This term refers to the electron pushback stopping any further collapse of the dead star, so elements such as hydrogen and helium can remain. When a neutron star overcomes electron degeneracy pressure however, neutron degeneracy pressure then stops further collapse. At this point, neutrons and protons are no longer separated by electron clouds and free nuclei are made. So, if this neutron degeneracy pressure is overcome, and even the free nuclei are broken down, is there any further forces stopping a collapse into a black hole? One object has been proposed that may exist on the extreme edge of becoming a black hole. This object is known as a quark star. The theory behind quark stars is that once pressure becomes so great within a neutron star that even the neutrons break down and neutron degeneracy pressure is overcome, there is one final roadblock to further collapse called quark degeneracy. Quarks make up normal matter such as protons and neutrons. Within a quark star however, the quarks would exist freely. Two different types of quark stars have been proposed, a neutron star of a quark core and a degenerate star made entirely of quarks called a strange star. There are different types of quarks and strange quarks are thought to be a candidate for stable quark stars. Some theorize that strange stars could be so stable that during the earliest periods of the universe, when quarks existed freely, they may have formed into stable strange stars. These objects would be so stable that unlike quasi-stars or regular stars, they would even exist to this day. Quark stars are predicted to be even smaller in size than neutron stars, at just a few kilometers in diameter, or the size of a tall mountain. Another strange property is that protons and neutrons are made of quarks. Any particle made of quarks are called hadrons. In this sense, a totally quark star could be considered a gigantic hadron. So even though this is a purely theoretical type of dead star, some candidates have been proposed. To look for one, scientists search for neutron stars that appear smaller and denser than what they should be. Several candidates have been proposed, including PSR B0943 plus 10 and 3C58. If quark stars do indeed exist, they would represent a border that separates neutron stars and black holes. Discovering such an extreme object would open up a whole new class of objects into reality and push the limits of how far dead stars can crush their cores. 